Well, most of the time in Ag PhD, you'll notice that Darren and I don't have notes because, I mean, we're agronomists, we're talking about the same things we talk about on the show pretty much every day of the week. So it's no big deal. But I gotta tell you, Darren, I gotta pull my notes out every once in a while when it comes to all these traits that there are in corn because it's hard to remember exactly what everything is, especially when the names get to be so similar. When we start talking about VT Triple Pro, VT3, VT Double Pro, and then you've got Pioneer, Optimum Acre Max, and Optimum Acre Max Extra, and all this stuff. What is it all? Well, see, that's the whole thing. A lot of things in the industry, I think, are just designed to confuse people. <laughs> and in many cases, that's what's happening. And here's why. And I'm going to take a shot at a company here. Normally, I don't do that. But you look at SmartStacks products. They're very simple. They've got all the Monsanto traits and the Dow traits together. And boom, you know what you got. You got a couple different modes of action on a lot of different bugs. And we can put up the chart and show you exactly what that Corn is. Corn and rootworm are the main ones, the okay. big ones. And so yep. this year, what DeKalb has done or Monsanto has done on the DeKalb side is if you want a smart stacks corn in our area everything comes refuge in the bag. So you say I want this they put five percent that just has Roundup Ready trait in it that's it. So one out of 20 seeds just has the Roundup Ready trait the rest have the smart stacks trait they put it all together in a bag and here you go everything is done that's all you have to plant you can plant hundred percent of your farm to that okay, so no, no other refuge. That's very simple I don't mind that but what's happened is the other companies they don't have this. I mean, Dow does, but nobody else really does. So what other companies like Pioneer are doing is trying to confuse us. That's how I feel. Now, if you're at Pioneer, you'll probably send me an email and say, Darren, this is so easy. You just don't understand. Well, maybe I don't. Maybe I'm just a little bit slow. <laughs> but when you look at it and you say, well, OK, it's a little bit of refuge below ground. It's a little more refuge above ground. Is there a treated seed in there? What's going on? And I've got to plant the refuge, but where do I have to plant it? It's not nearly as simple as that smart stack system. Now, we can talk about yield, and that's fine. If one out yields the other, I don't care how simple it is. I just want to get the most yield for right. my farm. But simplicity is nice, and a lot of guys are going for that. When I look at the emails that I get, guys say, hey, I, I don't know what's going on with this whole refuge thing. I just want to comply with the regulations. So I need it simple for me. And frankly, that Pioneer system is not very simple. Okay, so I guess now Darren hates Pioneer, but here's the point. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that's very confusing. <laughs> okay. Why can't so, they make it easier? All right, so we're going we're gonna to try to simplify it for you today. All right, so with that Optimum Acre Max 1, there is a difference between Optimum Acre Max 1 and Optimum Acre Max Extra. The Optimum Acre Max Extra has 10% refuge in a bag. The Optimum Acre Max 1 has 10% below ground refuge in a bag, and 20% above ground, that has to be structured. So in other words, that 20% above ground, you still have to have your normal refuge. Right, but what I don't understand, Brian, and here's where we've run into a problem, and this is why all these stacks are so important. Guys say, oh, I don't want the stacks. Just put a trait in the bag, give it to me, and tell me what it is. That's fine, but corn rootworm trait, and I don't care whose it is, any of those corn rootworm traits, if there's one trait in the bag, we've got resistance issues showing up here in South Dakota. We see them in Iowa. We're seeing some pop up across the corn belt, or at least rumblings of some. I don't want that. This well, that's why offering, in... they've got one rootworm trait. Yeah. And I, I just wish they'd tell us that. Say, look, it's, there's only one rootworm trait, guys. You better use some insecticide with it. That's what I'm going to recommend. Okay. Well, when you talk about that resistance thing, it's a big issue in cotton growing areas. So with the refuge requirements, as I'm sure you're well aware, if you're in a cotton growing area, they're different than for us in the northern U.S. So in the cotton growing areas, for example, Darren mentioned smart stacks and 5% refuge. It's 20% refuge down there. I just told you the optimum acre max one, 10% below ground, 20% above ground is structured. In the southern U.S., in the cotton growing areas, it's 50% structured refuge there. Okay, so that's a huge difference. So, you know, just so you're aware, that's how they're trying to prevent the resistance. Personally, I don't think it makes any difference. I really honestly don't. And they can show me all these things. Oh yeah, I think that we need to have these refuges and everything else. And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you should just ignore the refuges. I'm simply saying that Guess what, guys? Resistance is coming whether you put refuge there or not. So you better be ready for it. And in our region of the country, we're seeing resistance with a single trait, rootworm. So that's why guys are going to smart stacks. Well, you look at a lot of these traits, and here's where the difference gets to be, is how many different rootworm traits have you got in the bag? How many different traits do you have for corn borer and for above ground pests? When you look at different parts of the country, 
Farmers are looking for different things and you may be in your area. Maybe you don't have a big rootworm issue. I know a lot of guys that we talk to as you move further north in Minnesota, for example, they say, look, I don't need all those rootworm traits. I don't have rootworm issues. What I want is double pro. I want two modes of action on my corn borers. That way I can wipe them out and I don't have to worry about resistance. Okay. That's more important to so me. So that's where Monsanto comes with their VT double pro. They've got two modes of action on the corn borer and they don't have the rootworm trait. When they have the VT triple pro, then what they have. Well, then you've got the rootworm trait. Then you've also got a trait in there to control earworms. And there's a lot of bugs that will get into that ear. And we saw them again this year and chew off some kernels. And you think, well, it's no big deal. It's just one bug in there. He chewed off a few kernels, but you start looking at that. If you've got a lot of them, if you had one in every ear, all of a sudden it may end up being a 10% yield loss. Well, once again, there are a lot of different corn traits. It's kind of hard to remember it all unless you pull out your notes, but just make sure you know what you're getting on your farm because some things might be great for you and other things could be disaster. And we'll put a reference up on our Ag PhD website if you'd like to find information on these trait packages. It's very important. One other thing you may be looking for information for is our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to control this tough weed coming up next.